You guys, it's finally happening. Animal Crossing New Horizons is getting an update July 29th as Nintendo literally just announced it. And they also announced that Animal Crossing is getting more free updates that is in development as we speak. After millions of rumors, Nintendo finally stepped up and announced the new free update that is coming July 29th. Since Animal Crossing has a big community, you will be sure that there will be rumors that Animal Crossing was discontinued or Animal Crossing updates will be released this week. You probably heard those rumors on Twitter, YouTube, or anywhere else. But on the update that's coming on July 29th, it looks like it's just going to be fireworks like it was last time. And if you remember last year, fireworks only happened on Sundays in August. But if you remember below that tweet, it said New Horizons was getting updates later this year. So what can we expect from these updates? Can we expect repeats of updates from last year? Or can we expect new updates? Or there's going to be an update about the anniversary of the series? Or maybe not. If you're a hardcore Animal Crossing fan, you were probably heard of Animal Forest, the name that came before Animal Crossing. It's the same thing just released in Japan for the N64, but later that same year Animal Crossing came out for the GameCube. So maybe they're not doing an anniversary. But what else can we expect? Well, in the tweet they said later this year, and since it's summertime, I'm assuming that means probably November and December, and that's around winter time. So maybe we can expect another Turkey Day event. And for winter, maybe we can expect another Toy Day event. I honestly want to see these two again because I missed them last year, but maybe they can revive it so I can have another chance? Heck, maybe we'll see some characters return, like Wendell and Dr. Shrunk. Although, there's not a chance that Dr. Shrunk will return, because in New Leaf, he taught you reactions, and since you can get reactions from your villagers on your island, there's really no point of him coming back. Unless he's another part of the game, of course. Maybe we can see some new items for that particular season. Now that we talked about what we can expect for the future, let's talk about what we can expect for July 29th. We already know that fireworks are coming in August, and that's including the balloons, the fire poppers, or whatever they're called, and some more things. But can we expect new firework items? Maybe we can expect someone or something special during the fireworks. Maybe we can shoot the fireworks ourselves. We'll never know. Until July 29th, we can expect new seasonal items as they said in the tweet, or maybe they'll add small things like new reactions like they did in the last update. But in the tweet they said later this year, but can that mean we can expect something in 2022? Maybe or maybe not. I can tell that development is going very slow because we're in a pandemic right now, especially when the game released and they were adding small updates to the game. But 2022 could have some new things in store for us. They didn't say anything about 2022. There might be an update in December of 2021 going into 2022, but that could be it. And of course we have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that almost nobody plays anymore. They're somehow still doing updates for that too. And even their Twitter account is still active. But now that we talked about recent updates for Animal Crossing New Horizons, why don't we talk about past updates? The first one was Bunny Day event, which is basically Easter, where you had to hunt for eggs in trees, going fishing, or digging them out of the ground. You can use these eggs to craft special seasonal items and even some outfits. Bunny Day ran from April 1st to April 12th, 2020. The next update added a lot of things, like new visitors like Leaf and Red. It added the art gallery and the museum. New events were added like Nature Day, May Day, International Museum Day, which is my favorite personally, and Wedding Season, which happened in June. The next update was Summer Update Wave 1. And in that update, the ocean opens up and you can swim freely in it. And once you get the things that you find underwater, you can donate them in the museum. And if you find a scallop, a dude named Pasca will show up and ask you if you want to trade with him. You can get DIY recipes from him and more. Wave 2 of the summer update added fireworks that will happen on Sundays in August. You can get special themed items for the fireworks in Red's raffle. To go along with fireworks, you can launch your own custom design fireworks. That update also launched Dreams, where you can meet Luna in. In Dreams, you can access different islands and explore them as well. This update also provided island backup restoration service. Next was the Fall update, which added Halloween-themed items and reactions. You can gather candy to prep for Halloween before Halloween. And you can grow pumpkins for DIY things. Get some new costumes from the Able Sisters shop and change your color. Halloween night started, well, on Halloween. And then meet Jack, the carved pumpkin you can talk to on Halloween. This update also provided updates for the Nook Link app. The November and the December updates added Turkey Day, which was basically Thanksgiving. And it added Franklin, the first class chef. Give him pumpkins you got for Halloween stuff and then watch him cook. It also added Toy Day, which happened the day before Christmas, where you help a little reindeer called Jingle help deliver presents to other villagers around the island. 
This update also provided new reactions and new hairstyles, and it also allows us to expand our home storage. And it also added save data transfer. The next update added Festival, or Festival, however you say it, and Pave, the dancer, will be your guide. Collect feathers around the island and give them to him for a special dance. Now this next update is probably my favorite out of all of them, and most of you probably know why. That's why it was Mario themed where special Mario themed items join Animal Crossing for the Mario 35th anniversary. And that was all the past Animal Crossing New Horizons updates, while talking about the newest one too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video, and following my Twitter and my Twitch so you can get more video updates. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.